Number 31. Find the ratio of the new to old periods of a pendulum. If the pendulum were transported from Earth to the moon, where the acceleration due to gravity is 1.63 meters per second squared. All right. So basically, there's uh, you have a pendulum and you're going to move it from Earth to the moon. What that means is that the pendulum that you're moving is the same, right, as it is on the Earth and the moon. What I mean by that, it's the same thing. If you had a pendulum that looked like this, right, and here you're going to, let me draw it like this, and here the pendulum is going to oscillate, right? Whatever length you have here for the pendulum arm is going to be the same thing, uh, whether it's on the Earth or on the moon, right? The length is not going to change, but the period might change and so on and so forth. Right, and the and the gravity force, uh, the acceleration due to gravity will change. So basically, in order for me to relate the two together, okay, the new versus the old, I know I have to find out what's constant between the new and the old, okay. And the constant is going to be the length of the pendulum. So what I'm going to do is take the pendulum formula, where it says that the period of the pendulum's oscillation will be equal to two pi uh, multiplied by the length of that pendulum divided by g. What I want to do is solve this thing for l first, okay. So Let's do that. So that's going to be then the period divided by 2 pi. All right, will be equal to the square root of L over G. You got to square both sides, get rid of the square root, right? We've seen this now like 27 times. So this is T over 2 pi, and that whole thing is going to be squared, is going to be equal to L over G. Cross multiply the G, and there you go. There's your formula for L. Okay? Now, I can state this, right? That the new length, L sub N, will be equal to the new gravity multiplied by the new period, okay, all divided by 2 pi, right? I can create another formula that says the old length is going to be equal to the old acceleration due to gravity multiplied by the old period divided by 2 pi and that thing squared. So I remember the whole point of thinking in the beginning was knowing that these two are going to be the same. The lengths haven't changed for the pendulum. So what that means is I can set these equal to one another. Right, so watch what's going to happen. So this is going to be the new acceleration due to gravity multiplied by the new period divided by 2 pi. That whole thing squared will equal then the old acceleration due to gravity multiplied by the old period divided by 2 pi. And that thing squared. Now notice, mathematically speaking, we can cancel what? The 2 pi's, right? So basically I'm left with now this, that the new... Uh, acceleration due to gravity, is going to be equal to the new period squared. That's going to equal the old acceleration due to gravity multiplied by the old period squared. Now, what did they want us to find? Well, they asked us specifically to find the ratio of the new to old periods. What that means is that they want us to find this. They want us to find the ratio of the new period to the old period. That's what they want us to find. Okay, Tn divided by To. So what do you got to do here, do you think? You got to divide them, right? You got to get it. You got to build this thing so that you get TN over TO on one side. So it looks like I can simply divide out TO from the right hand side, right? Bring it on down into the denominator on the left. And then I got to move this on away. So it's got to go down into the denominator on the right. Put your little division signs in. And notice now you basically have your formula, but these are squared. We don't want to know they're squared values. So we got to take the square root of both sides. So now we get a formula. Look at this TN over TO is equal to now the square root of the old gravity divided by the new gravity. Okay? So, this is the formula. This is what we're going to use. Okay? So now what I'll do, since I don't know why I didn't move this on up higher, but I'm going to now do the work uh, on up here. I'll just change the color. All right? So, Tn divided by To. First of all, what's the new period? Like, what is that the period on Earth or on the moon? Well, you're transporting it from Earth to the moon. So it sounds to me like Earth would be considered the old, right? Because that's where you're going from. And the moon is the new one, right? So in other words, I can kind of rephrase this, which might make a little more sense. So basically, I'm going to then take the uh, period of the moon divided by the period of the Earth. That would be equal to now the square root of the acceleration due to gravity on the Earth divided by then the acceleration due to gravity on the moon. And that's it. And just solve this. So Tm over Te is going to be equal to the square root of uh, 9.8 divided by then 1.63. And let's find it. So square root 
half of the calculator we're on, square root of 9.8 divided by 1.63. And we get about 2.45. So 2.45. That's the ratio. Okay. So in other words, the period of oscillation on the moon is going to be 2.45 times larger than the period on Earth. All right. And that's because the G value has gone down. All right. So it's going to take longer for it to oscillate on the moon. It's because gravity is weaker. Simple. Guys, thanks for tuning in. All right. Please remember to help us out and subscribe. We look forward to helping you with more problems. Take care.